you're not bedridden. Are you are you in coma? Are you in coma? Are you in coma? Hindi ganun. Baka pare, pastusan na tayo dito eh. A few moments later. A point of inquiry, Mr. President. The Senate President mentioned unanimous. May may I know what is the correct answer? Because I look at Section 121 on the suspension of the rules, and I get the impression that the motion is to be approved by a majority of the senators present, there being a quorum. So it's not unanimous consent, Mr. President. Yeah, I know. If I must have been mistaken, I must have been mistaken, I must have been mistaken, it is to be unanimous. Yes, Mr. President, and uh, the gentleman is correct that uh, when it comes to suspension of the rules, our so section 121 states that it is approved by majority of the senators. Thank you, Mr. President. The rules is very specific. It is only for contagious diseases. But due to humanitarian reasons, because he had his operation last week that he could not stand up, we allowed it. However, he attended a political party rally in Manila Polo Club, was seen by everybody standing beside our president, and therefore he seems fit. Is he really required to be physically present uh, during hearings? I'm, I'm referring, Mr. President, to the Honorable Senator Ramon Bong Revilla. Uh, lagi ko po nakikita rito na may dala, pulang na lang po, wheelchair. Well, uh, with due respect to our distinguished colleague, the rules is very explicit. We only amended the rules for online sessions for COVID-infected uh, individuals or those that have contagious diseases, COVID, TB, uh, Ebola, you know, pagkaganyan, pwede yan online or is bedridden. Hindi po tayo nagpapaawa dito, no? Ako so far, uh, in the past two Congress, perfect attendance ang inyong lingkod. Never been late, never been absent. Sino ba namang gustong umabsent dito? That's why I want to be online. During our last uh, session, I attended. I tried. Pero, namagay yung paa eh. So it's okay, Mr. President. Kahit na mabulok yung paa dito, no problem. Para sa bayan. Yeah, just uh, a reminder, Your Honor. No? I've had a perfect attendance since 1998. I have not been absent from session since 1998. For the record, I must have the longest record of appearance in the legislature. Uh, well, times I'm sick, times I don't feel good, times I'm also bug bug sa trabaho, but I try to make it the point to be here to show our commitment. Let me recognize Senator Tolentino, please. Mr. President, just a, a point of uh, inquiry on the basis of uh, humanitarian consideration, Mr. President. Mr. President, I've been Looking diagonally to my left for the last several days, a colleague of ours uh, coming from my our great province of Cavite, Mr. President. May, may I know the exact rule, Mr. President, uh, concerning a colleague, concerning a member of this chamber with medical devices, apparatus, and apparently under rehabilitation, Mr. President, is he really? required to be physically present uh, during hearings. I'm, I'm referring, Mr. President, to the Honorable Senator Ramon Bong Revilla. Uh, lagi ko po nakikita rito na may dala, pulang na lang po, wheelchair, Mr. President. Well, uh, with due respect to our distinguished colleague, the rules is very explicit. We only amended the rules for online sessions for COVID-infected uh, individuals or those that have contagious diseases. COVID, TB, uh, Ebola, you know, pagkaganyan, pwede yan online, or is bedridden, uh, were lax. But the rules is very specific. It is only for contagious diseases. But due to humanitarian reasons, because he had his operation last week that he could not stand up, we allowed it.
However, he attended a political party rally in Manila Polo Club, was seen by everybody standing beside our president, and therefore he seems fit to be able to uh, join us. And he joined us last Wednesday, to be very fair about it. He did join us last Wednesday. So I leave it now to the majority leader to make the, the, the proposition. Yeah, Mr. President, just to put on record, uh, if... Mr. President, may I take the yes. floor? Yes, our distinguished colleague from Cavite. I just want to let you, uh, to inform the body, you know, hindi po tayo nagpapaawa dito, no? This is just uh, a mere parang uh, consideration. Ako, I don't mind for uh, humanitarian reason. I mean, uh, ako, I don't mind. Uh, my, uh, ako so far uh, in the past two Congress, Perfect attendance of inyong lingkod. Never been late, never been absent. Sino ba namang gustong umabsent dito? That's why I want to be online. During our last uh, session, I attended. I tried. Pero, namagay yung paa eh. So it's okay, Mr. President. Kahit na mabulok yung paa dito, no problem. Para sa bayan. Yeah, just uh, a reminder, Your Honor. No, I've had a perfect attendance since 1998. I have not been absent from session since 1998. For the record, I must have the longest record of appearance in the legislature. Uh, when times I'm sick, times I don't feel good, times I'm also bug bug sa trabaho, but I try to make it a point to be here to show our commitment. Uh, but the rules is very clear, and I leave it back to our chairman of the committee on rules to make the uh, motion or the manifestation yeah. so that we are clear with the rules. Thank you. Mr. President, may I reiterate what you mentioned about our rules? It's uh, very clear on Rule 14, Senate Session, um, Section uh, 41. Uh, letter B, Mr. President, convene and hold session through teleconference, video conference, and other reliable forms of remote or electronic means using appropriate information and communications technology systems due to force majeure or the occurrence of a national emergency as determined by the majority of all the members of the Senate, which may prevent the convening of the Senate or the physical presence of its members in the session hall. If you recall, Mr. President, last uh, I think last week, Mr. President, there was no um, objection coming from our colleagues of the Senate when we made that uh, 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 ruling, I mean, uh, motion, Mr. President, to somehow, somehow suspend the rules for our dear colleague who just had a, a terrible accident, Mr. President. And again, we would like to put on record that we commiserate with our uh, distinguished colleague. And uh, in rule... Uh, um, in Section 120 of our rules, Mr. President, it says here, and I quote, the unanimous consent of any action or proceeding may be given expressly or impliedly. And that's the main reason, Mr. President, that we allowed our colleague to, uh, to be present via online uh, without uh, touching, Mr. President, our, uh, our uh, regular rules, Mr. President, because no one actually uh, objected to it. But again, Mr. President, uh, this is a case-to-case -case basis. If anyone Mr. would, 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 uh, would move, Mr. President. Yes, I move, Mr. President, Majority Leader. With all due respect and in uh, recognition still of our rules, I believe there is a definition for bedridden given the inability of uh, our uh, colleague uh, to move, I think uh, he should be considered bedridden even under our rules. You know the reason why I'm bringing this up? Because last week, a dear, another colleague of ours was going to do a checkup and ask for a Zoom call as well. When will this stop, your honors? When will this stop? What is the leeway that we're going to give our colleagues? Mr. President, we abide by the rules, and yes. they, it actually says very clearly that uh, bedridden is a category that applies. No, it's not in our rules, madam. There's but no the measure in the rules on bedridden. It's uh, the, just, the chairperson just uh, read what is on the rules. Uh, earlier, if you may, you may repeat it, Your Honor, Majority so, Leader. But I understand from the Majority Leader that we could reconsider. 
Mr. President, may I ask for a minute? Even if uh, no one actually uh, objected.